Hey guys, Jason here. In today's episode, I'm going to go over how to create a 3D relief model from a vector. I'm doing this one for a client, but I thought I would record it and show you guys how I make these. I've already got my vectorized graphics. I did this with a combination of the client's reference photo and a picture photo that I had from the internet. I was able to get a pretty good vector tracing and now I'm ready to create the 3D model. Now I have several of these vectors grouped into different sections for easy selecting. I started with a 30 by 30 model. Depending on what our target model size is will depend on how thick we need to make it to get the right ratio when this is shrunk down. So if we want a target of one inch thick model at 10 inches, then we need to create a model that's three inches thick at 30 inches. And for this model, we're going to be just using a one inch thickness 10 by 10 target. The first thing we're going to do is give this model a base layer. And I'm going to start my base layer at one inch. If I tilt the screen to the side, you can see this base layer that we've built. I also want to give the badge a slight curve. Most of the badges that I've seen have a sort of a curved shape. And so we're just trying to replicate that. Give it a very small angle or six degrees. It's going to be very subtle. I press apply and now we're ready to start adding some of our detail. I want to move the inside to a different layer and I'm going to call this layer inside. I'm also going to move all of my lettering to a new layer and we'll call this one letters. Also this inside ring. I'm going to move this to a new layer. I'm just going to put I ring, turn off these layers, go back to my default layer. And then I pretty much have just all of these border pieces. If I select all of these border pieces, I'm going to go back to my shape editor. Now, I don't want to get that or that. I turn off these vectors I can see. Now I have this set to square and we're going to give this another height and we're going to go with another inch. Now I think that's a little too much. Let's go with a half inch. Okay, I like that better. Press apply. I'm going to close that. My vectors back on. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is the lettering. Now this circle is way down at the bottom. So we need to add some height to that. If I select this circle, go back to my shape editor. We're going to go to the plane and I'm going to add, let's turn this off. Let's go to an inch. Now I don't want that to come out the side. Let's go back to that half inch. So we're just going to add that half inch there. So that part sticks up a bit more from the sides of the badge. Now Let's turn our vectors back on and let's go back to our lettering and now let's do our lettering. We're going to go back to our shape editor, square, add. We turn that off so I can see it. Now let's add another half inch and that looks pretty good for the lettering. Change the angle down to 30% just so it's not so sharp on top and we'll be smoothing all of this over at the end. So that looks good. Now we're going to need our center details. Turn our vectors back on. Let me, let's have a look at our reference photo. So we have this small ring in the middle and then we have this feature. If I highlight all of this and let's go back to, let's turn this off, quarter inch. Yeah, I'm only going to go a quarter inch with this part because it it actually recesses down. We're going to do that recess in just a minute. Apply that for now. And let's turn that inside part on. Create this inside part. And I'm just repeating the same steps. I'll turn this off so I can see it. And then we'll give it some height. I'm going to start with the quarter inch. Actually, let me cancel that. I'm going to ungroup these vectors. And I want to get this outside border by itself. I'm going to group them back together. But this outside border, I want to give the entire inner part some height first. So we're going to use a quarter inch to make that stand proud. I'll turn this off. So that way that part stands a bit proud the way it does in this picture. Because in this picture, that center piece is standing proud of the, the brass background. So I just try a half inch. That may be too much. Let's go back to a quarter inch. 
and apply that. Now if I turn my vectors back on and I select, hold down shift and select the rest of these. Let me turn this off. Let's try the square top. Let's try the round. Now I like the way the round is looking much better. So let's apply that. Now I'm going to go back and add some of the rounding features. Let me turn my vectors back on. Let's start with this line and this line. We're not going to have any start height. We're just going to add a round. Now the reason I did the lettering first and then added the round last is because the round being added is also going to affect those letters and so it's going to create sort of a rounded top to them as well. This give a, a really nice shape to everything. So now that I have that sort of rounded, we're going to make it just a little less. I could turn off my vectors. Now I wanted this to sort of come up a little bit. So I'm going to add quarter inch. Quarter inch was too much. 0.1 was not bad. And I'm not worried about these extra lips. We're going to smooth all this in just a little bit. The same thing, there's a little bit of artifacting that's happening right on the inside circle, and that's okay too. So we're just going to press apply. Now the next one that I want to do is this sort of inner white piece here. So I'm going to select those two vectors. I'm going to pick round. Now it didn't look, I'm going to take that off. Again, let's add 0.1. 0 0.2, 0 0.25. Okay, so that brings it back up to flush. So then if we add a small rounding to that, press apply. Now we're giving that some shape. Now I'm going to select this one and this time we're going to press subtract so that we're getting that negative shape and getting that part to go downwards. Let me turn this off so we can see that. And now we're getting a nice sort of negative shape and we can shape that however we however much we want like that right there press apply and then let's do this middle sort of dome I'm gonna click that and have round and we're gonna be adding let's turn this off so we can see what we're doing here that's too much that's not bad at all let's go maybe a little less 20 okay I like that and we're also gonna do this banner up here round let's turn this off 0.25 about like that and we press apply and now we're ready for some smoothing I'm just gonna go to my smooth relief tool and right now we're gonna do the entire relief I'm gonna give it a pretty good smoothing let's go back just a little bit this helps blend any of those seams anything that was not quite matching up and it's just going to make everything look really nice. We're going to go back just a little bit. And we press apply. And let's check our height. We're at uh, almost 4 inches with the entire build. So if we move this down to 3 and press apply. Now when we shrink this down, and I'll show you how we do that. We would just go up here to the model button and set size. And we are at a image size and we would go down to a 10 by 10 and now that we're a 10 by 10 if we check our height you can see that we're at a scale factor of one inch which was what our target height was in the first place and now we've created a 3d relief of this badge now I could come in and put in the desired badge number here and I would just add my text whatever our number was and of course we would need to size this to an appropriate size and then once we put that text in there we would use the same technique as we did with the rest of the letters in order to add that feature in and guys that's that easy to turn your vectors into 3d reliefs and create these great looking projects i hope this helps don't forget to subscribe give us a like and share this with someone thanks guys see you on the next one